Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week, chicken nuggets that aren't chicken nuggets, a megalodon goes to nursery, and an old theropod is found. Starting off the news this week, Singapore has given approval for lab-grown meat from the US company Eat Just to be sold in the country. It's the first approval of such a kind, where lab-grown meat not involving the slaughter of animals has been approved for public consumption. The meat that they have manufactured will, at least to begin with, be in the form of chicken nuggets, and while being more expensive than normal nuggets, Eat Just have brought the price down recently. As this is the first approval of this kind, it is likely that it will kick off a wave of similar action, perhaps with other countries following Singapore's lead or more competitors to rival Eat Just. In other news, we've got the Megalodon, everyone's favourite. A study was published this week which describes a new nursery site for the Mega Shark located in Miocene aged rocks in northeastern Spain, as well as analysing various previously known potential nursery sites. Looking at the size class structure of the sharks in each of these localities, they found support for the presence of five potential nurseries ranging from the mid Miocene to the Pliocene, showing for the first time the Megalodon was commonly using these sites over massive temporal and spatial scales, the full extent of which hadn't been fully realised before. News Paleo the With, Ben to Over Now and. Thanks, Doc. Also in this week's news is the naming and description of a new genus and species of dinosaur, which is always fantastic to see. This dinosaur, called Erythrovenator hakuriensis, comes from the late Triassic of Brazil, and is actually one of the oldest theropods now known from anywhere in the world. The material it's based on is only a bit of a left femur, but it displays some very unique features that make it distinct from all other Triassic dinosaurs, and so is named as a new taxon. Not only does this discovery provide insights into some of the earliest theropod features, but also represents the first carnivorous dinosaur found in this locality in Brazil, which is actually dominated by cynodonts. So a very interesting discovery indeed. Finally, a fascinating paper has been published in Nature, which describes another new genus and species of dinosaur, this time an enantionothene from the late Cretaceous of Madagascar called Falcatokeli forsteri. This stem bird displays a very interesting morphology, as its beak is very long and deep, a shape that has never been seen in Mesozoic birds before and that looks more like various crown birds, such as toucans. Additionally, the way the beak is constructed in Falcatokeli is more similar to non-bird theropods, being made up of a large maxilla and small premaxilla, instead of mostly being the premaxilla like in modern birds, showing that this premaxilla dominated condition was not necessary for beak enlargement, as well as showing that Mesozoic birds were even more diverse than we'd previously realised. So some very exciting dinosaur news this week. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it for this week. I do hope you enjoyed it and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next Wednesday.